These Islamophobic Indians are getting bare. <laughs> These Islamophobic Indians are getting bare brave, you know. Asalaamu As Alaikum, guys, and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. I know you guys missed me. Shh, hot your mouth. Not really, because, mashallah, we're uploading every other day now. And so much has happened even in the last couple of days, it's difficult to keep up. So this story, I'm going to keep it short and sweet and to the point in Bahrain. Yes, it's a majority Muslim country. There's a restaurant that's owned by an Indian. Indeed, it's an Indian restaurant as well. It's called Langton and it's been around for about 35 years. And the duty manager there did the most confusing thing. This, I think this is more funny than anything else because these Indian Islamophobes are getting too big for their boots. They think that every place is like India mate. Yeah, and they're so engrossed within the propaganda and that bubble of India, they think they can try that crap anywhere. <coughs> but this class A mug stopped a woman in a niqab and denied her entry to his crappy Indian restaurant. Now those of you that are living under a rock and you don't know what's going on in India, there's a tussle between India and France to see who can be more Islamophobic. Now India of course is very close with Israel. Now Israel is not in a position to be giving other countries advice. So in India there's a hijab row going on where they're trying to stop Muslim women entering schools uh, wearing a hijab. So in a place in India called Karnataka, it actually went to the court and the court, look at the goal of these people, said, no, no, in, in Islam, it, it, it's not obligatory, mate. I don't think you have the facilities for that big man. Since when did the Indian courts have the authority to dictate what is and what isn't in Islam? <laughs> when did it go Quran, Sunnah, Ijma'a, Qiyas, and the Karnataka court. Prophet said, Ma ana alayhi wa ashabi. He didn't add in, uh, yeah, yeah, the Karnataka high court as well. Blame it, Nora, mate. What's wrong with these deluded people? So here's what was beautiful, yeah. Bahrain straight shut it down. That caused this mug himself to apologize. And they're doing whatever they can to keep their store open, butt licking Bahrain. And <laughs> I think they even offered a day in which. And get this, anyone from Bahrain can come in for the whole day and eat free. Well, of course they're going to do it. They're going to lose a lot of money, but they're going to lose more money staying shut down, frankly. But imagine, because of one dumb thing, now they have to feed, they have to feed an entire nation. Lol. It just goes to show hate, Islamophobia, discrimination, don't do it. And Modi mate, we can see Modi's India, the cancer emerging from Modi's India is now spreading. It's spreading and becoming malignant. And that's why I say hate, whatever it is, hate does not discriminate. Yeah, whatever type of hate it is, knock it on the head and stop it mate, whether it's Russian phobia, whether it's anti-Semitism, whether it's racism, whether it's Christian phobia, Hindu phobia, Islamophobia, whatever it is. Now I'm saying, let's leave it there guys, until next time. Assalamu alaikum.